I am really stunned and I am angry as a woman that we have come to this after weeks of negotiating on numbers where we have a principle and agreement on numbers that there are those in the Republican Party in the House who are willing to shut down the government, take people's paychecks away from them because they want to deny women access to health care in this country. Every woman and every man in this country ought to be saying, what are you doing? They want a writer in a bill that says that women can't get access to cancer screening, can't get advice on family planning, can't get uh, access to basic health care that women need. It is unbelievable to me that the United States of America is debating this issue at a time when our economy is hurting and people are worried about their paychecks. That's not what we should be debating today. And it is stunning to me as a woman that that's what they want today. These people came into power in the House by talking about how they were going to get jobs back and get the economy going. They didn't come in saying they were going to eliminate Planned Parenthood and access to our young women's ability to get health care. I heard from a young woman named Maggie who at a very young age, 18, left a very abusive home situation. She had cancer, cervical cancer running in her family, and only because she could get access through Planned Parenthood to cancer screening was she able to get the care she needed. She is one story of hundreds of thousands. And that's what the House Republicans want to shut this government down about? This is wrong. We in the Senate are going to stand up. We're going to work to come to an agreement on the numbers. We know how important the economy is. We know how important people's jobs are. But we are not going to allow them to push us into taking away women's right to health care access in order to keep the government open.